pairs of things. This video is brought to you by the following English learning websites. Pairs of things. As you know, English can be very confusing at times. In this video, we will try to help you make sense of things that come in pairs. For example, is this one item or two items? Think about it for a minute. How about this? or these. Notice I said this for the jeans and these for the sandals. But both are commonly referred to in the plural. For example, these jeans are too tight. Those sandals look nice. Why is that? Well, in English, we sometimes refer to single items in the plural because we consider them as a pair having two parts or components. Look at the scissors, for example. The word is always plural. We perceive the object as having two cutting blades, which work together. The item functions as a pair of things. Because of this, we refer to them in the plural. Example, the scissors are huge. They are on the table. We do not say one scissor. Wait a minute. What if we want to refer to a single item? In that case, we have to say a pair of scissors. We count the pairs. For example, one pair of scissors, two pairs of scissors. The word scissors remains plural, but pair changes. Let's look at some more examples. Here are some single items that are referred to in the plural. A pair of pliers, a pair of tweezers, tongs, fingernail clippers. That's because they have two blades working together. Here are some more related items. Notice that each item has two lenses a pair of glasses, a pair of sunglasses, goggles, binoculars. Some items of clothing also come in pairs. A pair of jeans, a pair of pants, trousers, or slacks, a pair of shorts. These items have two sections, one for each leg. Note. If you isolate the parts, the item does not work. A pair of scissors cannot function correctly if there is only one blade. A pair of jeans would be useless without both legs of cloth. Also, if you separate the component parts, the item becomes something else. Scissors with only one blade would be like a knife. Binoculars with only one lens would be a kind of telescope. This might help you see these things as one item with two working parts. Underwear and swimming suits require a special kind of language. If you wear them on the top part of your body, these items are singular. For example, a bra, an undershirt. We do not use pair for a single bra. If you say a pair of bras, that means two separate items of clothing. If you wear the clothing on the bottom part of your body, it is plural. That's probably because, like jeans, the clothing fits over two legs. For example, a pair of panties for women, a pair of briefs for men, a pair of boxers for men. Swimming suits. In general, we refer to them as swimming suits or a swimming suit. Here are some examples of individual types of swimming suits. 
a pair of swimming trunks for men, a one-piece swimming suit for women, a two-piece swimming suit for women that has a top part and a bottom part. We call it the top and the bottom. A bikini refers to the whole thing, both parts. Pajamas also require special usage. We usually consider them plural and as a pair. Example, I got a new pair of pajamas for my birthday. However, when we refer to each part, we use different words, tops and bottoms. Example, the tops have white stripes. The bottoms are only yellow. There are many other kinds of sleepwear, but we will not go into detail here. Note, we do not count pajamas. We do not say one pajama, two pajamas. We can say one pair of pajamas, two pairs of pajamas. For most other paired items, we can refer to them individually or as a set. For example, one shoe, two shoes, a pair of shoes. Notice that these items can be separated from one another, whereas things like jeans cannot. Here are some more examples of paired items. Clothing and accessories. A pair of shoes, a pair of socks, a pair of slippers, a pair of sandals, a pair of boots, a pair of gloves, a pair of mittens, a pair of shoelaces, a pair of cufflinks, a pair of earrings. Each of these items can be perceived as a pair or individually. More related items, sports equipment. A pair of ice skates, a pair of roller skates, a pair of roller blades, a pair of skis, a pair of snowshoes. To distinguish individual items, you can say the right skate or the left skate. Other paired items, body parts. These body parts come in pairs, but can be perceived separately as well. A pair of eyes. A pair of ears, a pair of lungs, a pair of kidneys, a pair of wings. Miscellaneous. Here are some other items that commonly come in pairs but can be perceived separately as well. A pair of crutches, a pair of chopsticks, a pair of knitting needles, a pair of speakers, a pair of headlights, a pair of tail lights, a pair of windshield wipers. A few things can be seen as either a single item or two separate items in a pair. For example, headphones, handcuffs. You can say one headphone, two headphones, the right one, the left one. Or you can refer to the set as one item. Headphones, a pair of headphones. Let's review. There are three ways to perceive and express pairs of things in English. Number one, single items with two components parts which function together. Examples, scissors, jeans, sunglasses. See notes A below. These items are always plural, but you can count pairs as individual items. You cannot separate the parts of the items or they cease to function properly. Number two, two individual items in a pair or set. Examples, socks, gloves, skates, lungs, headlights. See notes B. You can distinguish each item. For example, the right one, the left one. Number three, either as a single item or as two separate items. Examples, headphones, handcuffs, see notes C. The items can be seen as one set or 
two individual parts. Using these words grammatically, notes A. Always refer to these items in the plural. Count the pairs, not the objects themselves. I need some pliers. I need two pairs of pliers. Incorrect. I need a plier. That's wrong. You can also use these words generally. Troy wears goggles when he swims. Notes B. Items can be counted separately. One sock, two socks, not two sock. You can also count pairs, two pairs of earrings. Notes C. Either A or B can be applied to these items. My headphones don't work. The right headphone is broken. I need a new pair. Ready for some practice? Tell whether the following sentences are correct or incorrect. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like more time. Here are the answers. I bought two pairs of scissors at the store. Incorrect. It should be two pairs of scissors. Mom gave me some boots for Christmas. Correct. There is only one jean in the drawer. Incorrect. It should be one pair of jeans. Hal got a pair of tongs for the barbecue. Correct. My new swimming trunk trunks fit perfectly. Correct. There is a pair of slipper near the door. Incorrect. A pair of slippers. I have to wear sunglasses when I go outside. Correct. The left headlights on my car was broken. Incorrect. The left headlight. Can I borrow your fingernail clipper? Incorrect. Fingernail clippers. My pajamas are in the washing machine. Correct. Hope that was helpful. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe to our channel and let us know if you have ideas for our next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a give us a thumbs up in the comments below. And please visit our website for more information and practice.